All right. And the energy that's coming in from November into, uh, into October, <laughs> from November into December is the Two of Discs. So with the Two of Pentacles, we have a balancing act happening. And so in November, you might have felt really helter-skelter and not sure which way to go. And it could have to do with finances, but it could also just have to do with two very separate aspects of your life. And you're, you just couldn't figure out how to balance it. And so now in December, you're really starting to fine-tune it and hone it and try to figure out how to walk the tightrope. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Swords reversed, the Four of Swords reversed, High Priestess, Six of Swords reversed, Seven of Wands reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, Four of Wands reversed, Five of Discs reversed, and the Ace of Discs reversed. Oh my golly. So similar to Cancer, you have a ton of reversals, and actually you have a couple cards. You have a few cards the same as Cancer, so you might, and you have the High Priestess showing up. And the High Priestess is a card of the moon, which is represented by Cancer. Um, so there's a lot of that kind of energy, which means that it could you could be dealing with home, you could be dealing with family, uh, with mothers. Um, yeah, it's a, that that homey kind of energy that is popping up with this. Yeah, and so that that's that's probably why the the two of pentacles really popped up is you're trying to balance something within your home realm. So it could be people coming in, it could be you versus work, it could be you versus your yes, it could be home versus you. You know, it's but something is out of balance and something is is not where you want it to be. However, you have, you know, out of all of this <laughs> reversal, if you look at this this entire thing, um, they're all reversed except for the high priestess. And so when you look on it, look at it, it looks like they're all upright and then she's reversed, but uh, it's from my perspective. <laughs> so she's the only thing that is upright and in its strength. And so this, um, this high priestess, the moon, um, is symbolizes not only like the the strength of self the strength of home being able to go in and out of different realms but also being really strong to go through all the different tides of life okay so the high priestess is, is standing strong and saying no matter what is thrown at you leo you're going to be able to get through it it could also be that a cancer is helping you out and, and helping you with that that transition um, from different areas now, we do have somebody who's coming in, it's the Knight of Swords, and this is an air sign. So this is going to be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and they're in the reverse. So they are not here to help you out. They're here to benefit themselves, and they're going to come in quick, and they're going to leave quick. And they don't care about what you need or what you want. They're only here for self-serving aspects. And... What they're going to say here is because it's right next to the Four of Swords, which is also in reverse. And they're going to say, no, no, don't worry. They're going to be really, they're going to be almost, um, it's going to be so conniving and dripping with sweetness, which is not like them. So pay attention if somebody comes in and they're like, oh, don't you worry, your little head. Don't worry. You don't have to do a thing. I'll take care of everything for you. You just rest. If they come in and they say that, no, no, I got you, don't you worry, you just rest. Remember that, Leo, because they're going to ask you to be passive. They're going to ask you not to move, not to do anything, and to let them take care of everything. And they're going to want you to do that so that they can manipulate your situation, manipulate you, and take advantage of where you are. Because similar to Cancer, I feel this really vulnerability in you right now, Leo, which is not like Leo. You guys are the lions. You guys are strong and passionate and, you know, go, going into the world beautifully creative, leading the land. You are, you know, our sun. You are our sunshine. But right now, there's a vulnerable point like, should I shine so brightly or should I keep carrying on? Because I don't, because I think a lot of Leos just don't feel it right now. They don't feel their power. They don't feel their strength. And so this, this Knight of Swords is an opportunist and sees that you're not, uh, you know, you're, you're just not 
at your A game, which is not, I'm not saying that you're failing. I'm not saying that you're not trying your hardest. We can't be at 110% all the time. Sometimes we need to be knocked down to learn a lesson, to carry through, to clean some things up so that we can become stronger. And so this Knight of Swords kind of sees that you're hesitant about certain aspects of your life and wants to take advantage of that. All right, and they're going to ask you, like I also see with the Six of Swords too in reverse, it's like, oh, come on, you don't really need to do that project. You really don't need to go see that person. You don't really need to do that work, do you? Yes, you do, Leo. Don't listen to this person. Don't listen to anyone who's trying to hold you back, but in a really sweet kind of manipulative way. Um, oh, you need to rest, okay? You can get it done tomorrow. Don't worry. It'll get done tomorrow. Nope, do it today. Do it today. Finish it yesterday. All right, Leo, You. this is so important that you push forward and on, on these projects and what you feel in your heart and don't let this person dampen it. Don't and don't bother. Like, the, here we have the Eight of Swords, which is similar to a Cancer card, and Ace of Cups, similar. All three of these Cancer had in their reading. So, if you have a Cancer in your life, go watch the Cancers because you guys are very linked. But the Seven of Wands reversed, and then the Eight of Swords reversed is. You know, stop fighting yourself. Stop, you know, second guessing you. You don't have time for that right now. Yeah, you don't have time to second guess and to fight with yourself. You have to believe in your balance and carry through. Like something or someone, Ace of Cups reverse, it wants to come in but can't and because you aren't ready. You aren't ready for it because you feel like you are depleted, that you don't have enough, that you don't have anything to give. Ace of Discs reverse. You don't have anything to give. You can't do it anymore. You're done, 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 done. No, you, you can't. You, this, is, this energy can all be put into the upright. If you change your mindset and you lead with your gut, Leo, lead with your gut, filter it through your heart, and then think with the monkey brain. Okay? You need to use all three aspects of this, of, of you, in order to decide what to do. But start with your gut, okay? Start with your intuition. Because a four of wands is like not feeling like celebrating, not feeling like things are worthwhile. And, and it could be a situation that you're in. It's similar to cancer, like this, this sense of mourning, this sense of loss, this, um, in a way, like a death, you know? It could be a death of an idea. It could be a death of a person. I mean, even though the death card didn't show up, but I just because of what's happening here, when like five of discs reversed, it's like, you know, not being able to, um, sometimes it's not being able to accept the desolation. And so pushing it away and the up and, and on the other hand, it's because you're not being able to accept the desolation. You can't see the bright shining, you know, door right in front of you. The help that is right there that you just have to look up and see. All right, so and this all makes sense because we have a lot of astrological aspects happening in December. I mean, we've got a Mercury retrograde that is intense. And we also have Saturn moving into Capricorn, which is super duper intense. Saturn and Capricorn is like, get your ducks in a row, because if you don't, then the universe will, and you won't like what happens with it. All right? So know that at, at the end of the day, Leo, that the high priestess is shining and guiding you. Your intuition, your sense of self, your sense of spirituality, your uh, ability to go in and out of situations like water is what is going to pull you through these mishaps with the, the Knight of Swords within yourself, the self-doubt. You have to go deeper than that and into your spirit and let your spirit guide you and get things done. Even though you feel you don't feel like it, even though you don't feel up to many of the tasks at hand, you have to still complete them. Okay, so I'm going to pull on the visionary cards. I know Nafu just for some added guidance. Reflection, reaction. 
Okay, let's see what Noah has to say. Reflection, reaction. Each of us has our own walls and masks to protect ourselves from the things we fear in this world. Try to peel back these layers to present your true self to the world, your true reflection. It is your real reflection that yields a pure and positive reaction. Don't try to be something you are not or reflect the person you are meeting. Influence the reaction you get in the world by bringing yourself into every situation. Be positive and be real. All right, so that is a that is such wonderful advice, especially because you're going to have some people trying to dampen who you are and make sure that you do not shine brightly. But you have the capability, you have the strength, the wherewithal to shine and be who you are and stand strong in that. And that alone will combat all of this, this self-doubt, this loss, this breaking.